relic of an age that's quite forgotten. Time was when I was all the rage, from shoes to gloves of cotton. I symbolized an age of wealth, of luxury and gaiety. When all the world was in rude health, from the clergy to the laity. And if my looks and pretty clothes enchanted every dandy, the finishing touch they admired so much was my fan, which I always kept handy. Oh, all the peers and the fusiliers and the grenadiers to a man. When practically balmy, the toast of the army was Lady Windermere's fan. The hoi polloi never knew such joy since the 20th century began. At the great exhibition, in the foremost position, was Lady Windermere's fan. In the row where I'd go, mounted high on some milky white steed, you should hear how they cheer as my fan disappeared at a rattling great speed. Miss Edna May, in her own sweet way, said she'd play Peter Pan. Though she flew on a wire, receipts would have been higher for Lady Windermere's fan. Oh, what I can do with just a flick of my fan. With every swerve, I show my verb. It's the only thing I use to capture a man. And as the feathers sway, a message I convey. When it's here, it means let's go. When it's there, it means no, no. When it's so, it means, ha, ha, well, I don't know. But it's the only thing I use to capture a man. Oh, if you knew what I can do with just my fan.